Hi there, AZ from DigitalGoja.com showroom. And today we're gonna to take a look at the 67 millimeter infrared 720 nanometer filter. This is meant to give you the effects of infrared photography because it cuts out the light that is visible. And remember, infrared starts working at 780 nanometers. So at 720 nanometers, it's cutting out all the visible light. Now, of course, this will work great if you have a camera that has an infrared sensitive sensor. There are some of them out there and you can actually convert your camera with some companies that will actually do that. But they have to pretty much take your camera apart and remove part of your sensoring system. So it'll ideally be only a camera for infrared photography. So you have to make that choice. Honestly, the way I would do it is as a special effect filter and it's very simple to do. First of all, you wanna make sure that you have a 67 millimeter diameter. This will work with any lens for any camera on the market that has a 67 millimeter diameter thread. You thread it on just like we do with any other filter, but notice how this is on a tripod because it is completely dark. You won't be able to look through the viewfinder. You'll see absolutely nothing. So it has to be on a tripod. For novices, I would start out on the program mode. Plus, you want to make sure you do a white balance on a green subject matter. And it has to be a flat surface. So sometimes you can work with a very well-cropped lawn. I usually just work with a green filter. Remember, you have to go into your white balance setting and you have to do a custom white balance, which in this model, see here, you have to go until you see the little custom white balance setting, which is the little bookends with the little arrow in the middle. Then you're going to take an image of the green background. And once you do that, you're going to save it onto your camera and that means that that is what it's going to use for your white balancing now. So notice when I activate the live view, everything has a really dark red tint and it's going to take very long exposures. I'm talking about 20 and 30 second exposures. So you have to make sure that your camera is on a steady surface, you know, whether it's a rock or a table or I would actually prefer putting it always on a tripod. That's the most secure way. But then when it starts the exposure, you're talking about right now it's doing a 25 second exposure. So it's gonna take a while. So honestly, this is something that is great for landscape photography. It's not gonna work very well if you're trying to do sports or action because there's no way that your subject matter is gonna be able to be captured properly. It'll be a blur. So this is great for doing artistic landscape and maybe scenics or even product photography because you're going to get really interesting color hues and if you set your camera to the black and white setting you'll be able to get some really iridescent glowy almost surrealistic images all in all this is a really nice filter to add to your arsenal for special effects if you like this video remember to click the like button underneath and subscribe to our channel happy shooting